channel. So today we're going to be doing my everyday foundation routine. The foundation routine that I trust anytime I'm going to go somewhere, if I'm just running to the store, if I'm going to an event or anything like that, I know that this foundation routine is not going to let me down. It's going to stay on all day long and it's going to look flawless and fabulous. So if you are interested in learning how to do that, grab your tools and let's get started. Okay, so anytime you want to do your foundation, you want to start with a clean face, um, put a little bit of moisturizer on it, and then go in with your first step, which is going to be a primer. Today I'm using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now this is more like a like a cream putty type um, paste, and you're going to um, just take your finger, and I'm just going to go in around my nose area and fill in the pores, just through here. Now I have dry to oily um, skin, so I go pretty light with this primer. And I've already put a moisturizer on my face, so I'm just going to concentrate that in the T-zone area. So the next thing you want to do, um, this is optional. If you have freckles, if you have any kind of discoloration under the eyes, you can go in with a color corrector. I like to use the LA Girl Pro color corrector in the orange. This is going to help cancel out any of that blueness that's under the eyes or any um, like purple colors. And I'm going to use it to color over my freckles as well. So you want to go in with a light hand with this because it is very pigmented. And I'm going to use this right underneath the eyes here and just cover a little bit of the freckles up. Now I'm going to go in with a damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to smooth that out. All right. So now we're going to go in with foundation. I like to mix foundations. You don't have to. It's totally optional. And I do like full coverage. So if you don't want a really full coverage foundation, you don't have to go in as much as I do with these two foundations. Both of these are very full coverage. The Pure 4-in-1 and the Huda Beauty. I like these because they kind of both have kind of a different warm yellow undertone. And that works well for my skin. But you can totally use whatever foundation um, that you prefer. So I'm just going to go in and put just a little bit on my finger and we're going to go in and just dot it all over the face. Now we're going to switch to the Huda Beauty. If you really want full coverage, I do recommend these foundations. They work really well for my skin type and they give really full coverage. So, I know that looks like a lot and it's just because I prefer a lot of makeup. If you don't want that much, you can totally go a little bit lighter on the makeup. So now I'm gonna go in with, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush, it's just your preference. I gotta find my brush first. So I'm just gonna go in with this Morphe Kabuki brush right here and I'm just gonna start pressing it in the skin. And just because I like a little bit more foundation, I'm going to go in back with that Huda Beauty and put just a little bit underneath my eyes just to make sure I cover up all that discoloration. And whatever's left, I usually put it on my nose and on those freckles that you can kind of see on the side. And I'll use that Beauty Blender right underneath the eye because that skin is so delicate once I blend it out just a little bit. So now that we have our foundation on, we're going to go ahead and go in with some concealer. Now, concealer can be used in two different ways. You can either use it to highlight or use it to color or either correct any discolorations on your face. Today, I'm going to use this to highlight. I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. And this is going to help brighten up this area. And we're going to go down the nose. A little bit on the forehead. Cupid's bow, and then the chin there. I like to try to let this sit at least for two or three minutes. If you don't have time to do that, that's totally okay. And I like to start, I can't get my words together today. What's going on? I'm going to start on my chin and work through the area in the middle and then go out towards my eyes so my eyes can kind of sit a little bit longer and get a little bit drier. That way it's going to cover really well. So 
same thing with the um, brush. We're going to blend it out under the eyes and then right at the end I'm going to take that beauty blender and finish it off. I'm going to carry the concealer up towards the cheekbone, towards the temple, and that's going to give it more of that lifted look. So I'm going to go in and just press it out. And I have the air conditioner running. Give me two seconds and I'm going to go cut it off because all that's all you'll hear in the video, I swear. Satan's testing me today. I gotta get it together. Pull it together, Suzanne. Okay, I always have to turn things off while I'm filming because that would be all that you would hear would be the air conditioner. But it gets hot in here. It's a true test of whether your makeup's gonna stay on or not. So, we're just blending that out. Now, the next step is pretty crucial. If you have really dry skin, just be careful with how much powder that you go in with. It can make it a little bit cakey underneath the eyes, but if you have oily skin, you can be a little bit more liberal with the powder. So we're just gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the color Claire. And we're just gonna go in with that damp beauty blender, sponge, whatever you wanna use. And we're just gonna sit just a little bit under the eyes, on both sides and on the nose, because the nose is where it comes off a lot, especially nowadays of us having to wear the masks at work or anytime you run to town, it's gonna help keep it on a little bit longer. And I'm just pressing some of that powder in the rest of my face. Using the damp sponge is gonna help set that powder in with that um, cream liquid foundation and it's gonna help it from not moving for the rest of the day. And I'm just gonna give that little extra that's left on my sponge right over my eyelids. I don't put foundation or concealer over my eyelids, I just use what's left over on the sponge because I do have a little bit more mature skin and it gets kinda in the wrinkles and the folds and I don't like that. So I'm just really careful about what I put over my eyes. All right, so now we have our foundation on. So we've done our primer, we've done our foundation, done some concealer and some powder. So next you wanna make sure that you liven your face up. Do you see how blank my face looks? Like it's like a blank canvas, there's no dimension to it. So now we're gonna go in with a bronzer. Today I'm gonna to be using the Marc Jacobs. This is in the color Tantastic, right there. And we're just gonna warm up the perimeters of the face. I recommend a big fluffy brush for this. This is the Hank and Henry Sandra brush. And we're just gonna go in and start warming up the perimeters of the face. So I start on the cheeks. Just big circular motions. You don't have to be too precise. Because you wanna concentrate and think about where is the sun gonna hit my face? Where would I be tan? We're gonna go down the neck. And I like to put just a little bit on my nose because the sun does hit your nose as well. All right, so we've got the face warmed up. Next, we're gonna go in with contour. You can totally skip this step if you want to. I like to do contour because it gives a little bit more dimension to the face, but bronzer can be just enough if that's what you're comfortable with. So, let me grab my palette. We're gonna go in with the Park Avenue Princess palette. I love this palette, I use this all the time. It's got colors in here for you can set your, um, you can do your bronzer, and then you can also set underneath your eyes with these colors as well. So we're just gonna go in with an angled brush, and we're just gonna do a little bit of bronzer. I mean, I'm sorry, contour, right through here. Just a little bit just to liven the face up just a little bit more. All right, so we've got a little bit of contour on. Next, we're gonna go in with blush. Now, this is totally optional for your preference, but I like to do a powder blush, and I also have a favorite cream blush that I'm just in love with, so I'm gonna do both, but you totally don't have to. You can do one or the other. But blush on me seems to disappear very quickly, so I like to go in with two types of blush. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe palette. I'm gonna go in with this shade here, and then this one up here, just kind of like a blush topper. We're gonna go in and where is my blush brush? There it is. Just a fluffy brush like this. 
we're gonna go in and I've learned that if you bring it a little bit higher above than your um, apples of your cheek that it's gonna stay on and look a little bit more like it's where it's supposed to be because if you smile like this your apples are way up here but when you stop smiling they're gonna drop down so you want to go a little bit above those apples because you don't walk around smiling all day long or at least I don't <laughs> just a little bit of color all right, so we got a little bit of blush on there, which kind of gives it that, that little sheen, that little blush topper that I use, gives it a little sheen to it. Now I'm gonna go in with a cream blush, which is totally optional. You could do cream blush or powder blush or both, it's up to you. I'm gonna go in with my Hank and Henry. This is the cream blush in BB Rosa. And it is my favorite color of all time. So I just take one of my sponges and I'm gonna go brush it right on the top and just dab it on. Just like that. just like that so now I'm gonna go in with some rose water spray so this is one of the crucial elements to help keeping your makeup on all day long is this Mario Badescu spray here it's like 12 bucks at Ulta I'm gonna spray it on my face and it's gonna help kind of mesh the powder and the cream together and keep it looking too cakey just gonna go in with my sponge blend it out Just like that. And while it's still damp, I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. So highlighter is optional um, because I have this cream blush on that could be totally enough for you if that's what you like. But you know me, I'm a little bit extra. So I'm gonna go in with my Hank and Henry. This is in Glow Bandit. I'm gonna take my uh, fluffy brush and we're gonna go in and put a little bit on the Cupid's bow, a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on the cheeks. Because your skin is still a little bit damp from that rose water spray, it's gonna pick this up really, really well. And if you get a little bit too much, you can always go in and blend it out just like that. All right, so that's my everyday go-to foundation routine. I know it seems like a lot, but kind of once you get into the rhythm of it and you find your own kind of niche of how you like to do things and what you like it to look like. This is gonna stay on my face all day long. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my eyebrows and do my eyes off camera and then we'll come back on and do some lips, put some setting spray on and we should be good to go. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I just went ahead and did my brows off camera and went ahead and threw a little bit of eyeshadow on with these fabulous lashes from the Makeup Institute. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our makeup. So that's the one and final step to help make your makeup stay on all day long and keep that fabulous, flawless look. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love this because of the aerosol spray. I mean, and it smells good as, to, as well. So we're just gonna kinda pull the hair back Go in and spray and you want to let that sit your eyelash stick together we're gonna to pull the hair down give it a little spritz of my favorite hairspray on the planet little Kenra just to kind of get those little ends out of your way and that will be it. So this is my everyday foundation that I go towards. I don't always do lashes and lots of eye makeup, but I always want to make sure that I do these steps in my foundation to make sure that it stays on all day long. And it's going to give you that flawless, finished, just absolutely beautiful look. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. So if you don't mind, I would love for you to follow me. You can subscribe, hit that notification bell, make sure that you get it turned on, and then you will be notified every time I upload a video. If you have any requests, comments, anything that you would like to see, anything about mature skin, how I got started, uh, just whatever questions that you can come up with, you can put them in the comments down below and let me know, and I will try to get that up for you. And this is it. So now I'm going to go and... Um, I guess sit on my couch and watch some TV like I did last time because I don't have anywhere to go. But that's totally fine. So thanks guys for watching the video and I will see you next time. Bye.